So what happens when you invite 50 of your subscribers to your hometown in the middle of nowhere? They are coming from all over the world, from 12 different countries to be exact. These people had never met each other, and now we're gonna spend three whole days together. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> During these days, I'm taking them to all of my favorite spots and activities. Show them all the reasons why I decided to move here in the first place. The raw nature. The people. The colors. The fresh air. This is such a unique place to live, and you're soon gonna understand why. And if you wanna join me for the next time I'm doing this event, make sure to stick around to the end. When me and Annette from Soleftio Municipality came up with this idea of having a physical event for the subscribers, this was maybe eight or nine months ago, so it's been a lot of planning. But I remember the day very clearly when we went live with the event so you can actually sign up. And she texted me like, okay, I'm gonna go live now, are, are you ready? Because we had no idea if anyone is at all gonna sign up or show up. So she hit published and then less, less than one or two minutes after that, she texted me like, Kelly, there's already 10 people that signed up. So just, okay, okay. Oh. Before I could even reply the whole text, she texted me back again. No, now there's 15 people. And then came another text, 20 people. And it just kept coming. So in less than, I think, one and a half or two hours, the whole event with 50 people was filled. All the spots were occupied. And we were like, oh. Oh my God. Huh? <laughs> Everything okay so far? Yeah, great. Yeah. <laughs> Let me have a great time. <laughs> You're hard again. No, it's enough. <laughs> One thing that both really inspired me and surprised me was to realize that most of these guys that came here actually came here solo. They didn't show up with a friend, they didn't show up with a partner. They came here, they co crossed different countries to get here. <laughs> and they did it all by themselves. And they found friends here in this group, and that's a safety, but they didn't know that when they showed up here. So I think it's actually really brave of them to do this. And that's, to me, that's super inspiring. This is such a cool feeling for me because this is the first time ever I actually get the chance to meet my followers or meet you guys, I guess. Because YouTube has always been just numbers to me. A certain amount of views or a certain amount of subscribers. I see usernames and I see comments, which I really appreciate, but I never know the real people behind them. But now I actually get to meet them. Like they're on these hikes with me. They're exploring these forests with me for the first time and it's, such a cool feeling. <laughs> no, because here I got really a lot of... Besides these hikes, I wanted to see how much I can push these guys. Not just physically, but mentally as well. Making them step out of their comfort zone, so they can see for themselves how much they're capable of. And what really impressed me was that several of them had never set foot in the gym before. 
There's something special about coming together and working towards a common goal. Especially when you're surrounded by like-minded people that you really connect with on a deeper level. And let me tell you, they pushed way beyond what they have ever done before. And you have to think about that they are doing all of this with people they have just met. Welcome to Sweden. <laughs> Now, it's time to step even further away from their comfort zone, by listening inwards. I could tell on the group that it came up a lot of unexpected emotions, but it was so nice to see that everyone was so respecting of everyone's individual journey. It takes a lot of guts to express your true emotions in front of strangers. Pretty um, how's the word? Brought up a lot of emotions. Really? Yeah. Okay. A lot of stuck up emotions from when I served in the military. Ah. Um, okay. Stuff. <laughs> this weather really tells a story about how great this group is because it's literally pouring down and it's been pouring down the entire day and I have not seen one person in the entire group that has, has a negative comment or just a frown on their face just positive remarks, happy faces and just like really good vibes. Such a small thing as rain could easily destroy a whole event like this, but if the mentality is good and if the spirits are high, it almost turns into something positive. The rain has almost brought us even closer together compared to what it would have done if it was just sunny all the time. Hiking, it's been amazing and even today in the rain I didn't uh, feel like um, I was struggle with the rain I was just feeling nature and people and it was amazing Of course all of these activities has been great but the highlight for me has still been the spaces in between the activities like where we actually get to sit down talk hang out get to know each other because we come from so many different backgrounds from so many different cultures different countries there's such a mix of people so for me the highlight was actually to get to know these people and i get to know them the best when we just sat and had food or just hanged out sat by a fire just did normal stuff the activities was really fun and that was really a kind of a team building exercise almost but the real communication, I would say, happened 
in between those moments. Because that's when I actually got to find out what they were struggling with, what they were dreaming about, everything from high to low. To me, that's what makes a conversation really interesting. We're still struggling with the same things. We're dreaming mostly about the same things as well. So it's, even though we're miles apart, we think that we are so different from everyone else, or we may feel that way, but in reality, we are way closer than we can ever imagine. Coming to this event and being part of this community, yeah, it really touched my heart in a very special way. We created this uh, small group uh, and now we're, I can say we're friends and I hope it will be friends for life and we would meet again here. It was so easy to connect with everybody because I think all of us have very similar interests and very similar dreams. So whenever we talk about something we like relate so quickly and connect and understand each other and motivate each other for follow, to follow our dreams. For the main event, which is called the Night of Fire, I wanted to show why this is my favorite festival. I mean, could you imagine a more beautiful spot for a music festival? This location also has a lot of history. These carvings was made about 6,000 years ago. They found over 2,500 of these carvings on the rocks alongside of these rapids. So people have been gathering here for a very long time. Since this event has been such a success, if I may say so myself, we really want to do this again. But if that's going to be a reality, we need to tell the municipality that a lot of people are interested in doing this again and want to join us next time we're doing this. So I need you guys 
to flood the common field. Really show them that this is something we need to do again. And we were even thinking about maybe we should even do like a summer edition and the winter edition. And put your, all of your thoughts and ideas down there so we can just really brainstorm and make the next event something even cooler. And if you want to stay up to date on what's going on in Soleftio, they actually have a really good and free newsletter. And I left a link down in the description. 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 So you can check it out. Big shout out to Annette and Soleftio Municipality for sponsoring this video and this event and making it all happen. And would it have not been possible without you guys? And thank you for watching this video all the way to the end. I'll see you guys next Sunday with a new video. Until then, take care of yourself and I'll see you guys next Sunday. Bye.